Hello everybody and welcome back to another Figurehead Reviews video and today we are finally putting together the Wendigo Build-A-Figure from the Marvel Legends X-Men Wave featuring the characters you see in front of you here. We have Wolverine that came with the head, Cannonball and Boom Boom each came with a leg, Guardian came with a torso and tail, and then Nightcrawler and Mr. Sinister came with the arms. But enough about that, let's get this put together and take a look at Wendigo. And here is Wendigo, all built and fully assembled, which, by the way, uh, you may have noticed I skipped the part where I put them together. Let me know what you think about that. I kind of started thinking about it that, you know, who really wants to see me put them together? We want to see the finished product, right? If you want to see me build them, let me know in the comments. If you like this, kind of just jumping right into it, leave that in the comments too. But anyway, very, very cool looking Build-A-Figure. I actually am pretty impressed with it in terms of just some of the shading that they did with it, the sculpt work. Now, granted, the sculpt work is something that we already saw with the Sasquatch Build-A-Figure for the most part. I think there are some changes. Uh, I honestly didn't go grab Sasquatch to look at all of them. Uh, but with focus on this figure, it is very good looking, and I do like the details that they have put into it. When standing straight up, he is a very tall figure. He is coming in at eight and three eighths inches tall, which makes him about 21.2 centimeters. So he is a very large build a figure. And I think a lot of us are probably going to do a lot of recreation of uh, that Incredible Hulk first appearance Wolverine issue where you have Wendigo, Hulk, and Wolverine uh, on that cover. So I certainly might try to do that. But, of course, he does not have any accessories, even though he is a Build-A-Figure. Sometimes they have accessories, but this one does not have any accessories. So let's go ahead and just jump right in and get a better look here at Wendigo. And here we are up close with Wendigo, and I'm going to tell you right out of the gate, something about this face sculpt creeps me out. I think it is reminding me of when Dan Aykroyd turns into a monster in the Twilight Zone movie, and it kind of feels like that. I remember it being a pale creature, and uh, man, this face sculpt is just really, yeah, it's got me uh, very, very creeped out. Looking at the paintwork here, I'm not so sure on the teeth if that is meant to be blood or, oh no, that's definitely, that is meant to be blood. That's painted on there. Yeah, that's not that's not the paint rubbing off the teeth. So that is definitely meant to be blood on the teeth. So that is very cool. The eyes look good. I love the shading that we get around it. And then same thing with the hair. We see some shading. Oh, but it looks like they got a little splotch there. But they do some shading around uh, towards the bottom, the ends of the hair. So very cool. But yeah, that, oh, yeah, that face sculpt is creeping me out. Looking at the rest of the body, we can see that we get some subtle shading here in the shoulders. We get it around the abs here at the midsection. We get some shading here on the forearms, the back of the hand, and then again down here by the feet. So they did that shading throughout to really highlight some of the um, just the edges and the corners and things like that, which I think actually does a lot for the figure. On the back, we actually get a lot of shading. There's a lot of blue here along the back and even on the tail, too. And then as we're looking at it, I mean, the fur detail that they have here is really well done. I really like that. And, of course, we get the longer fur there on the uh, forearms. But I think that actually looks really good. And you still have the muscle definition, but in the spots where you really want to highlight that muscle definition, the fur is lessened a bit uh, versus, you know, on the shoulders and stuff like that where it's a little bit thicker. So I think that looks really good, though. And, of course, we get his little bit of a fur there. And the tail came out looking really cool. It isn't, uh, you know, poseable in any way. It's not a bendy wire or nothing, so... And then going down the feet, we have some big old monster toes there. So very creepy looking. Now looking at the articulation, so you have a head that can go side to side, but no reason really to extend further than what it is. It can look down fairly well, look up, eh, not too bad. So decent articulation there. You have an arm that can actually come up pretty far, but be careful where you're putting it. Um, when I would try to go full T-pose with it just straight out. It felt like it might have been hitting versus if I went up and then in. Like, you can kind of feel it. I don't know. It's hard to explain. But you can kind of feel where the arm will let you uh, fully extend it. You have a bicep swivel, single-jointed elbow that doesn't quite reach 90 degrees. Then you do have rotation and a hinge on both of the hands. You have a pretty decent ab crunch there going forward and then really deep going back but if you do that i mean you can literally see 
the uh, the neck hinge there. So yeah, going backwards, not so much. He does have a waist rotation, legs that can actually come apart pretty far. He can kick forward, eh, not much. Backwards, not much. Upper thigh cut. He does have double jointed knees. And then he does have a hinge with ankle pivot. And then, of course, the tail does rotate. And that is going to do it for this review, everyone. So overall, I think this is a very cool Build-A-Figure. I always like it when we get large characters for Build-A-Figures. It just feels like something more substantial. So uh, I think it was very cool that Hasbro gave us a uh, Wendigo figure as well. Just because when we got that uh, classic box set with the classic Wolverine and Hulk, uh, it's kind of cool for those that do want to recreate that scene. Uh, or that cover art, rather, with Wendigo in it. And, of course, with all the X-Men love that we're getting, it's very good to get a Wendigo character as well, just so that we can continue to fill out that X-Men shelf. I think that's probably the biggest thing for a lot of us, is we just want to fill out that X-Men shelf a lot. So anyway, that is it for the review, guys. Make sure to hit that like button if you liked it. Subscribe for more content just like this. And as always, thanks for watching my video, and have a great day.